Cyber Command was elevated on Friday to an independent, unified command, a bureaucratic change that for the first time puts it on a PAR with nine other U.S. Warf IGHT in commands. The change is an acknowledgement that this new Warf IGHT in domain has come of age, Deputy Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan said. Shanahan spoke in a massive room that is the hub of a new $500 million integrated cyber center on the heavily fortified Fort Meade campus. When it becomes operational in August, U.S. and allied personnel at the center will monitor and coordinate responses to cyber threats. We are ready to unleash our cyber mission forces, said Marine Lieutenant General Vincent Stewart, Cyber Command's Deputy Director. Nakasone also took over Friday as director of the National Security Agency, which conducts electronic surveillance and protects U.S. National Security Agency's computer networks against hacking. Under a dual-hatted arrangement, the NSA director also oversees Cyber Command. Nakasone succeeds Navy Admiral Michael Rogers, who came to the NSA in 2014, when it was still reeling from massive breaches of highly classified data made public by former contractor Edward Snowden. Cyber Command includes military units trained to both defend against cyber attacks and to initiate them. But while Cyber Command has conducted operations against groups like Islamic State, U.S. presidents have been loath to get in a cyber war with major nations like Russia or China. The reason, officials have said, is that the United States, with its reliance on computer and communications networks, is more vulnerable than its adversaries.